Well, here we are. It's the last race of the season. We're totally unprepared. So let me take you to the workshop where we have only days to go where we're prepping the bike. So watch us, get ready, and then go racing with onboard footage and a good laugh along the way. If it don't fit, don't force it. We're gonna race. There's just one more thing before we get going. Big thanks to MM Motorcycles at Wrexham for their help, support, the parts, the oils and bits and bobs to keep us racing throughout this year. We couldn't have done it without their support. Also, hands-on research for their help as well throughout the year. They're awesome as well. Also, the people who make the free tech happen, they're brilliant. And that's it. Friends, my wife, grandparents to Cody, you all made this happen. So if it don't fit, don't force it. It is Tuesday night. Yeah. We're racing we're racing on the weekend. We've got to leave on Friday afternoon to get to South Wales, Pembury. As soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. But the bike is not really in a race condition. We've got a handlebar missing, the other handlebar is all scored up. I've got new handlebar material. Then we broke the clutch lever last time. The throttle's knackered, we need one of them. I've got to put gearing on it to suit Pembury Raceway. I need to do an oil change on it. Um, there's no gear set on this side. There's also no gear linkage. And we're totally unorganized. So that's good, isn't it, Coach? It's exactly how it is all the time. Fonzie is on his way when he finishes work and we'll get things done or at least get it to a fit state to race for the final race of what will be this will be our season at all. So it hasn't run since Teesside, I haven't even fired her up so before we do anything there's absolutely no fuel in it because it ran out didn't it right at the very end codes. Yeah. So. First of all, let's get some fuel in it and just see if we can make it run and then once it's running, we can do the rest of the stuff. So look, here we go with a hot, well it's not high octane, it's a supreme, un oh, spilling it, unleaded. That one's yeah, ignition, isn't it? that one's ignition. The choke cable is buried in here. So I think the carburetor is completely dry. And take it off. bonus at least we know it runs so we can now just put the bike together and go and race at the weekend so i've removed the other handlebar off the bike <coughs> and bits and bobs and now cody because he is a fabricator is going to take the new newly got handlebar material <coughs> excuse me the newly bought hand oh, <coughs> shit. The the newly bought handlebar material right. and Cody's going to measure them out and he's going to cut as many handlebars out of these as he can so we've got spares on as the many. day. Okay? As many. Well, we, we need a few spares as well. So you don't have to cut them all, but if we have two to go on the bike and two spares, Oy. we're happy days, aren't we? He's going to use Roy's angle grinder to cut the tubes and yes. it's got to be said, it's not the best angle grinder in the world. And, uh, so that they're doing it the right way, then. Yeah. Where's your PPE? Where? Where's your glasses? Oh shit! Well, Wait, I think I've got some in your bag. Have you got some glasses in your bag? Because I mean, well, I've I, I care about your eyesight. I've been repairing the clutch lever and putting the new lever into it. 
Cody has now got his eye protection, so we we won't get grandparents shouting at us. No. And he is going to precisionly cut that squiggle. that squiggle mark there. You ready? Yeah. She's old, but she still works. Right, cut the next one. I'll bring you back when he's cut a few of them. Sounds like Fonzie's here. It does. Could be. Look who's just turned up. Yep. It's our Fonz. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, sorry. Are you uh, primed and ready for this weekend coming? Yeah, I'm fucking ready to go. Ready to go. Are you ready to go, Cody? Nearly. I'm ready to go, but the bat. Ah, oh, it's not ready to go. We need to make this bike ready to go. Yeah. I've done the handlebars with the help of Cody. We just need to get the fitment perfect and tighten them up. You don't need that. Don't do that. You'll burr the end. I've spent ages burring that. You bell. No. Installation in the shed. Yeah. He's a fully qualified drawer of bendy rockets, apparently, named Fonzie. It's a creative cock. You can't say that on YouTube. It's a rocket. A rocket. It's a rocket. That is a rocket with two massive boosters on either side. But I don't know what rockets you've been looking at, but it looks like it's got issues to me. Go around the anyway, the handlebars are on the bike and it still starts and runs so we're getting closer i have checked the water and it hasn't used a thimble full since the last race so i'm happy with that so i'm I pretty much put it together and send it in it boys yep yeah give her all she's that's got. what we do every time though isn't it really? mm, maybe we're gonna have to measure them bars out something doesn't something doesn't look right there where's your, where's your ruler? right get the ruler out because one day I won't be here to hold your hand and oh, you're going to have to... 55. Uh, another millimetre. And you're going to have to do all this on your own. That day can't come quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rough with the bike. She's got to be good to us. Delete that side. Anyway, we were... We were a roll of Tessa tape there. Well, I need that at home. I'm sure that was mine. I bought that. That so needs to go in my that, Is this your bunny oil kits? Yeah, but it's shite. You can keep that. Uh, would you like to say anything, Roy, with only days to go until we're racing? Uh, you're going to crash and both of you will die. Thanks, Roy. What would you want to say, Fonz? Uh, would you like to follow up on that? We're not going to die. I like your hat, by the way. Yeah, it's a bit oily. Oh, God. Come on! We've got everything. We're short of nothing we haven't got. But we still haven't got a gear linkage or a throttle because the Amazon man hasn't been to deliver. The high quality throttle I bought off Amazon Fonzie. Yes. High quality. But it'll probably come and it'll be for a model motorbike or something. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I've got something actually worth recording. Been home and I've got the gear linkage, which was supposed to be getting machined, but it never happened. That's why we took it off. Also picked up this box, which is the Amazon box. And this holds all our hopes and dreams. So, fuck Cody, open that and see if it's everything we want it to. Oh. There's the old throttle. And I'm hoping this one's, this one's going to be much better -est. Oh, right. Get rid of that box. Let's have a look at the box first. High performance. High performance wow. made by <laughs> motors and <laughs> high performance. Yeah, yeah, open it up, Cogs. Let's have a look at what we've bought. No wonder this country. Gold. Yeah, and it's plastic, not aluminium. That's plastic. Yeah, Mom. That's going to be so fucking shit. No, no, no. no plastic's because better. Really. The aluminium chews into the aluminium handlebars on all good bikes. They're always plastic. Sound. Trust me, you won't be finishing Pembury. Well, this is what we had. This is what we had on the on the let's plot racer. Let's fucking go over. No, this will be mint. Right, let's get it fitted. So, or mudguard, what do you reckon, codes? Mud Fender guard. or mudguard, Roy? Uh, 
Um, Mudguard. 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 Drizzle guard to stop it going in your face. Drizzle guard. I've never heard guard. that before. Yeah. Right. Counts on. There's the gear set, but we'll leave that till we get there because we don't know what wheels and tyres we're going to run. We were just fitting this lovely bar end here, and Fonzie was knocking it on with the rubber mallet, and then I decided Wait, to test yeah. it with my thumb. And yeah, we'll do it again for the camera. don't do it again. It really hurts. So C Cody hit that. So he was knocking it on, and then I went to test it and put me <laughs> me thumb there, and Fonzie just whacked me, and now my thumb's going blue. But we've just got to do the mud guard and the throttle, but I'll just... What are you all doing for that? Just to the Attach the mud guard. Photo's well, already attached, what's happening? Well, Uncle Fonzie has put the fucking bracket in the wrong way round. No. What is this? Amateur hour! Right, that's it, we're getting copyright straight now. The good thing is that it rolls on the floor. Hyundai has brought us successfully to Pembury Racetrack, the Cathedral of Speed, so I'm told, and our good friends have saved us a spot in a garage. So here's the bike, and uh, first on the agenda, I only assembled it at one o'clock this afternoon or finished putting it back together after the last race. So we want to check our tyre pressures maybe, put the gearing on because we've still got go-kart track gearing on. So we need to do that. We need to, oh, it does start because Cody rode it from the caravan up here. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna change the gear in tonight. Pretend I'm doing things. What do you reckon, Cody? Yeah. There's no excuse now, is this? It's got everything everyone else has. Easy winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ultra low seat for streamlineness. And uh, we've got we've got scrub tyres and we're away. So anyway, the gearing's in the bag on the floor. My tools are in that bag. Cody, the other tool is there, and we're going to do it. And what I'll do is I won't waste your time because then I'll be eating. So I'll bring you back in the morning when there's actually something fun to do because you've seen me, you have seen me swap gearing loads of times and I'll make sure the brakes might work because they didn't work last time. We did the whole race last time with no back brake. But you don't need the back, as long as the front works. Well, exactly, yeah. So, but everyone else's equipment looks mint, you know. <laughs> Does it? Well, that's what, the, that's what yeah. my wife tells me. Where are you me. looking? Where are you looking? <laughs> my, my wife tells me that everyone else's equipment looks mint. <laughs> and mine just looks all battered and minging with old peely stickers. But it works, so if it don't fit, don't force it, and I'll see you early tomorrow morning for signing on and maybe trying to find a transponder. Right, so Fonzie has made the long journey and travelled here. He's just not long got here just before I put the camera on, and uh, he's enjoying a beer. Cody's having a beer, kindly provided by our beer sponsor. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, check his race team out, they're mint. Yeah. They're fitting cameras and bits so and most, bobs. Most beer sponsors don't just drink all the beer though, do they? No, no. <laughs> well, Team Porter. Team Porter drinking the majority of the beer and handing some out to Cody and Fonz. I'm okay because I'm not like that. All I can say is I'm like my ex-wife, she likes to share as well. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bike is all ready, we've had to lock wire that because I it's cracked the, the exhaust weld and I missed it, but it'll be fine. So the, the little gearing's on, there, so that means it'll go faster in layman's terms. And Fonzie's arrived, so that's all good. See you in the morning. Right, so we're here, it's the morning, we've managed to get out of bed. It's dead noisy because all the generators are running and everything. The bike is there, it's past scrutineering and we're all ready to go, so follow me and we'll have a look at the track. So we're on the start and finish straight, we're coming down this way, but the track looks like it's dry and lovely. There's some, it rained through the night and it's a bit hazy this morning, but it looks mint. The sun is shining and there's not many clouds in the sky, is there, Cody? No, there's not, it's all right. So, we're all ready to go. Let's go racing. Right for practice, Mosey's well, just getting suited and booted.
Good mornings. Are we ready? Yeah, ready and waiting. I'm like fucking handsome in the morning, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so, practice out on fresh tyres. And we're going.
Yeah, a lot good. Oh, oh a bit slow. What, the bike or you? No, me, I could have right. went faster, but I didn't have any traction. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> well, I uh, get a second off what I did. Yeah.
flying 34th, it's a full course yellow, Fonzie's waiting to go and I've just flagged Cody in. So Cody should be coming round any minute. Yeah, will do mate, will do. Any minute. Here he comes. There they go. Fonzie's half an hour now. Cross! Oh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know it's like. You didn't even know it's a bit to miss. No, no. Bent gear linkage and a broken clutch lever. I didn't even know it's, I just rode it like. Mega, mega. Well, let's see how Fonzie does. Cody's out now, I've just come in, we're 31st but we stop for fuel so that dropped us to 38 but everyone's got to stop for fuel so that doesn't really matter so it'll come all come back around and then Fonzie's out, was the time full with that? Really, I didn't even look, I just put what I had in. It's got five litres in. Yeah, I think it was pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty much. Again, two hours from now. Yeah, so, but there was still fuel in it, wasn't it? Fogging out on me or anything. So yeah, we'll have to see what Cody can do. I was sitting what, one minute and thirty. One minute thirty-five. Thirty-five is this. Cody's doing one minute thirty ones. So Fonzie's about the same as me. So we're getting faster. We're faster than what we were here last time. Yeah. So you know.
Yeah. Not bad. Point five. It's all right. Oh, okay. You happy? Yeah. Oh, it's happy. One of our competitors on another CBR, he's just been having a right battle with Cody. You've been enjoying yourself, yeah. It's been fantastic, mate. Me and Cody had a right battle, lap after lap, like that, like that, like that, like that. Well, the little get got me in the end. <laughs> Ethan, wait. Well, we're just waiting for a fuel stop now, so we'll get him sorted. Fonzie's ready to go, isn't you, Fonz? Primed and ready, so uh, let's have it. Anything else? If you don't fit, go don't force, force it. it. This man, we won't believe what everyone says about him. No. <laughs> He's on a t-shirt. Right, so oh, Cody's on his last stint now and it's almost the end. We've got about 10 minutes left. So we'll try and catch him coming over the finish line and see where we get. Stand on the pit wall, you'll get a pound. There's four minutes left to go, so let's see what happens. The race is over, that's our last one for this year because we're not going to Spain because we're poor. So, well done everyone. And uh, we'll get them all into park for a bit and then the trophy giving will happen. Safety car. Why? Got proper packed up with loads of slow yeah. riders, but. Well, you got it done. Yeah. Is it still recording? Yeah. Yeah, Bob, Bob, look at this. CBR, CBR, CBR. Doing it for the CBRs. Forget them Suzuki's. CBRs. Well, hey, we had a good race, didn't we? Yeah, it was alright, mate. Hey, I'll get you Fonzie. next time, Cody. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> That'll be our last race for this year. <laughs> Right, so that's it. We are done for this season. That was the last race we'll be doing this year. Now, it's back to the workshop. Things are changing for next year. So, 
we need to get in the workshop and get it done that's it there'll be more videos to come the van cody's car doing other bikes bits and pieces obviously the dragon rally will have go ahead this year and that'll be loads of fun so thank you very much the nights are drawing in so let's just get back in the workshop and make things happen if it don't fit don't force it